the Niners, and so is Jimmy, they are a completely different team when their skill guys are healthy. I mean, they really are because their skill guys, the the trio, is so high end. And Jimmy, like he looks like a real quarterback when those three guys are playing. Is he have some flaws? Now today he was probably the most flawless game he's had this season. Like I don't think he had one bad pass really. Did he? I mean, he made the insane decision to try and throw the ball with two guys on him and one of them holding his arm, and he completed it to Jeff Wilson in the baby zone. Even afterwards, it was. Even afterwards, though, he did the chest pat. Like, oh, man, that was stupid. I don't know if you caught that. He completed the ball but did like the, oh, my bad. That was insane. Did he stare at Kyle and do that? Like He might have been. I I don't know. He might have been looking at Kyle. I who He wouldn't say that to Jeff Wilson. Why would he say that to Jeff Wilson? No, it was immediate Kyle. Yeah, find the guy in the gray sweatshirt with a flat bill hat. My bad, Doc. You don't need to yell at me when we score here. I think his arm got stuck up, and so yeah. he didn't. He knew he couldn't get it back to his body, so he just flicked it. But he, yeah, he, I, he, I think you're he right. Was he was in complete control. He was. He was. He was in complete control, and it's. I mean, he was really good. That, that's. It doesn't. You know, it's funny. You look at the numbers. It was the. It's the decision making to get the ball. Into, I think the beauty for them is they get so much yak that all you got to do is get it to these guys. 18 to 23 for 235 and a touchdown. He was better than that. But I think if you go back, like you and I both, maybe a lot of people watching the game do the same, take notes. If you went back on your notes, if you could just like go through your notes and look at every Kittle note or every Debo note, because I I noticed this early in the game, every single time they touch the ball, it is – an, it's a, a a play above replacement. Like it is better than a normal guy trying to do whatever it is they're trying to do. A no gain becomes three yards. It's honestly, I don't know if it's contagious. Juwan Jennings th- doing a lot of it too. But I don't like yeah, Juwan Jennings. I, I do too. I do too. Uh, Kittle, six for 93. San Debo, four for 60, but also six for 29 and a touchdown. Um, Ayuk, one for 36, but it was a it was 36. Well, he, he, here's why I give him credit. Because I, I am very... I can be critical of him with his ball placement on pretty basic throws. It's 3-3 three to three after the Niners force a punt. And they go on their first touchdown drive. The first play hits IU kind of slant. But it, it hits him right in the hands. And the guy doesn't even need to break stride. They score on that, they score on that drive. And it's... Then the following drive, they ended up giving up a fucking uh, touchdown on that worst flag. So it's 10-10. to 10. First play of the drive, he hits Debo for 32 yards. But again, a slant route that Debo could just take, right? He let the he let the, the zone dropper, he waited a split second, and then he hit Debo when he was passing, but not behind him, not way high, just perfectly in stride. He hit both those guys where they can do it maybe a little above like their eyes, but where they do not stop running in their perfect route, and then those guys, both of them, they are really obviously Debo is a freak talent, but clearly Ayuk, very talented player in space. He hit the guy; he was like kind of going behind him. It was just he's a natural. It's what's yeah. weird about his punt returning; he just can never. Because I mean, I don't know if Hightower knows how to teach people how to block. There's never any room. But if you can get Ayuk in space, I don't want to say he's Debo because I don't think he'd be quite as physical. But he's a natural feel for angles and shit. You know how Kelsey is? Like he's so Kelsey's natural. Like, is Kelsey even moving that fast? But he knows the guy's angles, and he just Kelsey just kind of runs like a video game player, just yeah. avoiding everyone. Yeah. Ayuk's faster than that, but he's kind of the same thing. I think Debo Samuel does the same thing too. Like they're the Niners guys use what's the field fifty two and a half yards wide. I think it's I thought it was fifty three and a half. Fifty three and a half. Like they use that half yard on the sideline really well. Debo and Kittle. Oh. Barrows had a good article in the Athletic about Kittle uses like these PVC pipes to balance, like to balance on. Um, and Ayuk, they just use every inch of the field really, really well. I think you see a lot of trust right now in the Niners' pass game, a lot of trust between Garoppolo and the receivers, but even I think some evolved trust with uh, Kyle and Jimmy. You know, after the Falcons got stopped on fourth down on the first possession, the Niners Jimmy threw the ball over the middle twice from you know basically his own end zone the first one hit jennings in the hands he couldn't catch it the third the second that one was on third down was the ball that use check caught and he came up a couple yards shy of the first down marker but that ball early was a little dangerous but it was a good throw it was a dangerous throw it was over the middle from his end zone hit jennings in the hand it was a tip ball they're lucky nothing happened but it was a good throw from jimmy 
So yeah, I mean, Garoppolo was good. And, and this you, is not like some new level of, this is what you get sometimes. This is why Jimmy Garoppolo is an NFL, you know, top 20 starting quarterback. That's just what he is. That's what he is. And that's yeah. good. That's in the words of, uh, which golf announcer was it? Better than most. He's better Dan, than most. Dan, Dan Hicks. <laughs> Dan Hicks, better than most. He's not elite. Yeah. He's replaceable, but he's better than most. And it's, yeah, it was impressive. Well, like, where he definitely has value. It sounds like a backhanded compliment, and I, I don't mean it to be. Is when you play lesser opponents, and if you have 17 games, eight of them are going to be, if you're just on a team worth their salt, are going to be on a lesser opponent, a lock lesser opponent. He can be good in those games. So then if you can just get half of the of the next you know 11 games, him to be solid in six or seven, you can get yourself to boom, right? If he's good in eight and you win six of those and then he's good in another six, you can get yourself to 10, 11 wins. And, you know, he, he early on he was really iffy. Now he was banged up, whatever. They had injuries with the wide receivers. But, like, one thing that comes out the better your quarterback plays – and, you know, I'm, we'll get into Hightower later. I'm going to give – Wes Welker's probably a pretty good wide receiver coach because these guys, like, Jawan Jennings getting better. And the better your quarterback plays, like, the reason you know about, like, Pringle and some of these random wide receivers on the Chiefs is Mahomes, right? We It happened forever with Brady and, and New England, right? He wasn't – hell, Peyton Manning, their third wide receiver was always really famous, well, the better and better Jimmy plays, Jawan Jennings starts being a factor. Like, it's – was it you that says, like, there are no role players on bad NBA teams? They don't yeah, exist? Like, yeah, the, the Kings yeah. have no role players. The Kings just have – and they just have uh, players. Well, uh, the New York Giants do not have a number three wide receiver. Neither do the Jets. Neither do shitty – you know who does? Good teams. Like Tampa, defined roles. Green Bay, defined roles. Chiefs, defined roles. Bad teams don't have players with defined roles, right? Like, I mean, you have like a nickel corner or whatever, but like specifically. Well, the problem is when like you're Juwan bad. Jones. Yeah, but the problem is when you're bad, the little things don't matter because you're they, so it's they're still, irrelevant. You're, you're so far between bad and good. But like when Juwan you're good, Jennings becoming a guy matters, right? Having him as your number three guy. One, he brings an element that the other receivers don't. He's fucking big. And two, he's clearly pretty like talented in the red zone. Like I just, yeah. he's better than Sanu. Now, I think Kendrick Bourne, who they lost just because you can't pay third wide receivers when you draft a guy in the first and draft a guy high in the second, like you needed to replace that. And it was tough for a little while. I think this guy is starting to fill that void a little bit, which is important. Yeah. When they were really good, Kendrick Bourne makes plays. This guy makes plays. I mean, their offense is better because then it takes and pressure off the running back. He's really good in the run game. I think he's Who's just Juwan? He, Juwan's just really physical. I mean, when before they started throwing the ball to him, he was constantly on the field just blocking. No Nikhil Harry trade than if he comes into his own, probably then? I, I think Juwan Jennings has, proved, has been better than Nikhil Harry. Did have a sweet catch yesterday. High pointed it. In the How about the Debo movie. throw? <laughs> you had to see the replay on the camera. but uh, uh, I, I just love it. He's like, I'm throwing this fucking ball. I love it. It's like the fake run. Stop. I didn't I see that the was I actually. Play. I wasn't paying attention. Maybe I looked at my phone. What was the re did the DB get his hand on it? Was the well the, the camera the high camera didn't turn because yeah. everyone's saving money, and uh, no, it hit the DB square in the back behind the number. DB didn't know it was coming. Was just running like this, and it just hit him. Line drive hit him in the back. Was not even close to a jump ball. Maybe he's, maybe he tried to go Listen, back shoulder. He might have been trying to go back shoulder. This is nitpicking, uh, but for whatever reason, and the Patriots feel like the uh, the Boise State teams that you and I used to live through that clinic on trick plays. They never ran a double pass, a double reverse, some weird play that did not work. I feel the Patriots are very, very similar. The Niners are fucking god-awful at trick plays. Kyle, just let Jimmy, just run normal plays. Don't, don't run double. They do not, they don't even come close to working. It's weird for a guy that's very offensively, talented at dialing up plays his trick plays suck the problem is his some of his regular plays are tricks so when he True. goes like hardcore trick it's like it's, it feels weird to him i think it doesn't Throws it doesn't look the like their trick the plays are comfortable at all no not at all it's like all their trick plays are just because debo asked if he could throw the football this week do you know what would be a potential trick play just thinking off the top of my head everyone knows the toss is coming so the wide receiver that's on the toss side, 
He does like two steps like he's going to block, it, but it's it's Ayuk. Then he turns around, full sprint, takes the handoff from Wilson or Elijah and just takes off around. So it's an end. Around the a, other end. Like he does like a, a jet double sweep? Re, it's, it's a reverse. No, it's a, it's a toss reverse. So is it a fake toss to the back and then handoff no, the, to the, the front? The, the toss is to the back, and then the back has to hand it off to Ayuk. Gotcha. But Ayuk is running behind him in a in a loop yeah. or runs like straight across in like a jet sweep? Angle. I think he goes behind him. So Ayuk goes one step like he's going to block, then turns around and kind of gets depth. As the tosser as the tosser's headed down, he runs around him. Be risky. Maybe you toss it. Maybe you hand it off. But I think so, there's something there. I kind of like that play, but I would say no depth run it jet sweep straight across to try to get the, to the angle. The quicker. problem with that play, if someone gets penetration, if they're washing, if they're washing yeah. the washer or the penetration, you could get just ball flying in the middle of the air. <laughs> it's risky to go behind them. Cause if they're not, the mesh points a little off and you toss and you miss, then all of a sudden the ball's way back there. It's, it's a risky play. I, you can yeah. only do it up. A how about, probably how about one this? Two against the Texans up 15. How about this? Same play. Kittle lined up left tight end. Toss play. Fake the handoff to Kit to Ayuk coming back the other way. Kittle leaks out. Toss to Kittle now back towards the original side of the toss. Maybe overthinking it though. Don't don't hate that. Or you okay. could just hand it off to Debo for 15 years. Debo has scored seven touchdowns in the last five games. He has five straight games with a rushing touchdown. Every game for five weeks, the same exact thing happens. For five weeks in a row, they handed the Debo from like the 19 yard line. He hits the sideline and boom, just races in and scores a touchdown or cuts it back. The same thing. How does he not get touched on his touchdowns? It's insane. I don't get it. No one wants to touch him, maybe. I don't know. I think Jonathan Taylor isn't one of the, isn't the streak, didn't he miss a game in the streak or is the streak he played the whole game? Because isn't Jonathan Taylor one game away from 11 straight games with a rushing touchdown, which would be the record? Maybe he's 12. Oh. You see that number? No, I didn't see that stat. So did you see the play Jonathan Taylor to end that game where he takes yeah. it to the house? Yeah. He has had 10 straight games going into that game with a rushing touchdown. That last night, you know, because a lot of people, you know, our boy Derek Pop was like, he should have yeah. hit the ground. But Absolutely. He, that that scored. He has 11 straight games. If he won more games, so 11 straight games with a rushing touchdown will be 12 and will be an NFL record for him. I think he's tied right now wow. with like LT.